Hi guys, Fraggle Rock here. I'm just going to do a quick little video on how to install the battery mod for the Sega Dreamcast. What this does is it replaces the rechargeable battery with a CR2032 by disabling the recharge circuit and putting a diode in there. Now this particular PCB has already had the battery holder installed and the self-healing fuse. So all we're going to do is just install the diode on this resistor so then we can put in CR2032s which are much cheaper than the ML2032s that are originally with the Dreamcast. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to uh, clip off some of this resistor leg and zoom in. Clip off some of this resistor leg and then clear out this hole so we can install the diode. So I'm just going to clip about right here towards the top part of the resistor. Go ahead and take my soldering iron and remove this little bit. I'm just going to remove that. There we go. Go ahead and what we're going to do now is take our diodes. They'll focus. Focus, there we go. So I'll put a link down in the description where you can purchase these diodes, but if you uh, if you search up uh, for BAT8385, BAT85, you can find the diode that you're looking for. You're looking for a tchotchke diode. Um, not tchotchke, a shotkey, 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 I don't know how to say it. Anyways, um, you're looking for that particular type of diode. And um, I'll put a description down below where you can find them. I'm going to go ahead and just take off one of these. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this in so that the black bar is facing down. So we want it to go into the existing hole where um, the resistor used to be. and just put that through there and I'm going to bring it down almost down to the base just like so just like so and then I'm going to just solder it in place there so let me go ahead and solder this in place just going to hold it like so there we go, focus solder on the tip. I'm just going to attack it in just to hold it there while I get it all situated. There we go. So now it is in place. Let's go ahead and get it attached to the resistor. I'm going to go ahead and clip off the extra um, component leg here because I already got some good overlap. It's right where I need it to be, so I don't need that much. I don't need that much uh, component leg sticking about. Alright, let's go ahead and get some solder on the tip. up a little. So now we have the solder there. And now just to make sure everything is in there nice and secure, I'm going to clip off the excess component leg, just throw some more flux on there, and just touch this up a little bit. And there you have it. We have the um, diode. It's a little, little messy down here. Let's go ahead and clip off that remaining. There we go. Looks good. There you go. We got the little diode installed. This disables the recharge circuit. So now we should no longer put ML2032s in here. Just go ahead and get rid of those. And instead, we are going to now replace it 
with the CR2032s. Um, they're readily available. You can get them from most places like Console 5, or if you know what to search for online, you can just go ahead and uh, find the coin cells for the CR2032s. So anyways, that's how you do it. Make sure that the black bar on the diode is pointing down and that you've purchased the correct diode. All right, there you go. Good luck.